Jens, whose poor penmanship resulted in a self-inflicted pen wound and subsequently bled to death. To write was something Jens detested. When a pen or pencil was presented, Jens protested. These are the tools of taming man. Never shall they civilize my hand. His nose went up, and his lip went out, and Jens began to pout. His teacher tried to show that through finger gaps a pen may go, but when the pen was presented, Jens dissented. My fingers obey the impulse of my soul. It demands no more than that they scratch my hole. His nose went up and his finger stuck out. Then Jens joined them by the shortest route. Now his teacher had had quite enough, and with parental consent, his tactics got rough. So he glued a pen in Jens's hand, shouting, Right, young man, do as I command! Yet with pen and hand cemented, Jens lamented. Your commands don't alter nature's law. Besides, your paper pads are much too small to hold the broad, instinctual scrawl for which my soul calls. For me to scrawl, I need at least a wall. Perhaps from exhaustion, his teacher consented. And for Jens's scrawl, the nearest wall was presented. With jerks and tweaks, he made enormous sweeps. His unpracticed hand dug the sharp pen too deep, cracking the paint and the dry wall sheet. His poor pen proficiency had become a dangerous deficiency. Jens knew not what lay beneath his scrawling fist, what was wall, or what was wrist. His teacher could neither alert or avert the self-inflicted scrawl from whence Jens's blood did spurt. With a fatal pen flash, the boy's wrist was slashed. So within a breath, the boy bled to death. His teacher bemoaned, Jens had so much to say, but now, since he never wrote it down, it'll be forgotten today. Have you something to share? Master your pen if you dare.